Welcome back friends to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So as you can see here, I have a little bit of a problem with pens. I like pens. Um, and it's probably a good thing that uh, you're watching this because you are uh, probably in the same boat as I am. That's the great thing about the EDC community. We all like the same things. But uh, as you can see here, I like small pens and I like expensive pens and I like uh, free pens, beef. Um, and I like pointless pens. I mean, this is a, uh, tactical pen, you know, but I like pens. Uh, and probably the most used pen that I have is the Sharpie S-Gel with a metal barrel. And it's my favorite pen. I love, uh, S-Gel pens. I don't know what it is. They just feel good to me. They write good for me. Um, I don't like, uh, writing the rain notebooks because I can't use Sharpie S-Gel pens. But uh, uh, my most carried pen is the Wright and Rain Polka Pen uh, that replaced the uh, Fisher Space Pen. But again, I like pens. Uh, and I found a new one, well, new to me. Uh, this is not new in any regard, uh, but it uh, seems like uh, they really haven't gotten much uh, airtime on YouTube lately. The newest videos I've seen are two to three years old so and uh, I just recently came across an older video with this pen in there and uh, I, I was like what is it I need that but this is the uh, Skillcraft B3 Aviator it's a multifunction pen and I know uh, for the fact that there are other pens like this out there uh, just because I've seen uh, Anne from Line Climber she showed a Bic multifunction pen with a pencil in it uh, just recently which is pretty cool but I don't really like the Bics they, they, they just they're, they're too bulky they're too thick for me but this one here this one is uh, very slim it even says slim barrel on the packaging but uh, this is a three-in-one. Uh, you get uh, two pens and a pencil, and it's cockpit FOD compliant. Apparently, you need things uh, in a combat 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 cockpit. Get use your words. Um, you gotta use things in combat cockpit that are uh, non-reflective and they are not sharp. They don't have sharp points. But uh, as you can see, uh, you have a black, red, not quite sure what that is, medium, medium point maybe, and you have a 0.5 millimeter lead. So one thing I did notice on the back here, and I don't know if we can focus in on it, but it says Skillcraft is a registered trademark owned and licensed by National Industries for the Blind. Now I did see a video where somebody said that blind people, some of these, I am not quite sure about that. I can't verify that. But uh, somehow, some way, these pens benefit the blind, which is pretty cool. Uh, they are made in Japan, but they are assembled in the United States by Alpha Point um, in Kansas City, uh, Missouri. Um, so you can see the uh, uh, refill kit number there. And it almost made me sick to my stomach when I saw the price of the refill kit for this. Uh, this pen here, I will put the link down in the description uh, for the pen here. $22.30. That's how much it costs on Amazon. The freaking refill, man. $11.69. And I just couldn't justify bringing this pen to you when I saw that refill kit price. But uh, come to find out that this actually takes uh, standard D1 refills. So those are quite abundant everywhere and you can get a lot of them for really inexpensive so um that kind of changed my mind on bringing this to you so uh, in all clarity i did open this up already and uh started using it and i'm pretty psyched about it it's pretty awesome so got our pen and our paper so to use the pen we have we just turn the barrel and we have red right there i don't know if you can see it and we have the pencil and we have the black so you just keep turning to what you want and on this side here we have the eraser so let's start off with the black and i gotta say it does write pretty nice I could write through the viewfinder. I 
And now the pencil. Pencil, you, you advance it like you wouldn't any normal uh, mechanical pencil. And uh, I'm going to advance. I think the ink's the uh, blood broken, maybe? Let's see. Surviving uh, daily. So that's pretty awesome. I like this. I really do. And the fact that uh, you can get uh, refills for inexpensive. And I'm going to see if I can find some gel refills for the D1. If you know of any, please let me know down in the comments where I can find some gel D1 refills for this. That would be awesome. But uh, to put the refills in them, we could just pull that off. And you just pull it out. And that's all you do. Then you put the... I gotta see if I can fit that back in there. And you push it down nice and firm. And uh, there she goes. That's all it takes to refill this. Let's see if I did it right. There we go, much better. Sometimes if you don't get it down uh, into the uh, slot uh, just perfect, then you can get it all bound up at the tip here. But uh, it seems like I got it right. But, so this is the Skillcraft B3 Aviator Multifunction Pen. And, and I think that's freaking awesome. And uh, this is going straight in my pocket. And we're going to be... The only thing I don't like about it is you have to unscrew the the eraser. But like I said, uh, if you know of any uh, gel D1 refills, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Uh, is it worth twenty-two dollars and thirty cents? I mean, this this is an expensive pen. I think this was twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars. Um, I feel like I like this one better. This one just too big and bulky. I like the uh, uh, refined bolt action brass. That one's nice. I, that one just feels better than this one here. Um, still, my go to is the Sharpie, but I mean, they both feel nice. I gotta, I gotta say that. This is going to definitely live in my pocket. Uh, so my daily, my daily carry. What do I? What do I do? Carry a third pen. That's a bit much, but uh, we got to try it out. We got to we got to EDC this. But uh, anyways, as always, I appreciate everyone watching. I hope everyone's having a great day and carry on.